Hi friends. Today we're going to go over some TBRs for some upcoming readathons. It is the end of November and there are two readathons coming up the very last couple of days of November going into December that I'm going to attempt to participate in and I wanted to go over my TBR for both of those. The first is the Tis the Seasonathon and I think this will be my third year doing that maybe and that is taking place November 30th through December 6th and then the other readathon is the Romance Takeover and it is November 29th through December 11th. So the Tis the Seasonathon will be in the middle of the romance takeover. I will have all of the host channels and everything linked down below because um, there's a lot of names to remember and my brain's not that good. So there's a lot of names in the description box below for um, hosts and announcement videos and things like that where you can find um, graphics and bingo boards and all of that fun stuff. So first I'm going to go over the Tis the Season-a-thon because that is technically the shorter of the two and it is taking place both on YouTube and on Instagram. I'm going to be focusing on the YouTube aspect of it. There are some prompts for YouTube. I know for Instagram there's also like some bingo boards and some different things on that end of it. But again, I'm focusing on the YouTube end. So as always, when I am in a mood and I am doing readathons, I went ahead and made a page for them in my planner. And so this is my page for the Tis the Seasonathon. Just fun and cute. And I don't have a lot of free space because I use a mini instead of a classic for reading currently. Not a lot of space for pretties, but enough space to get you what you need. So the group book is In a Holidays by Christina Lauren. So I will be attempting to read that. That is also the book club pick for Beautifully Bookish Bethany's the book club, Patreon book club this month. Kind of doing two for one there. I should also mention that most of these though are they are on one specific readathon can be used for the other and I can interchange some of them. So let's get into the actual prompts. The first is to read a holiday themed book and for that I am reading My New Crush Gave to Me by Shani Petroff. I bought this three years ago for the original Tis the Seasonathon and I don't remember what it's about anymore. I think it was new back then it's possible. Anything's possible if you just believe. Yeah, 2017. So this was a newer release when I was first doing the <laughs> Tis the Seasonathon, but I never got around to it then. I didn't get around to it in last year's either because I think it was probably also on that TBR. So maybe this year will be the year. The next prompt is to read a book you've meant to get to this year but haven't yet. And for that, I will be reading Undercover Bromance by Lisa K. Adams. This is the second book in the Bromance Book Club series. Uh, this series follows different men who they're all kind of either like sports stars or big political people. They are like higher profile men and they read what they call manuals, but they're really romance books and they read them to help them in their love lives, whether it's getting a girlfriend or helping out their current marriage situation. Um, so this book follows characters that we met in the first book, which is the Bromance Book Club, which I really enjoyed. So I'm excited to get to this one as well. Next is to read a book with lights on the cover. And for that, I picked Wrapped Up for Christmas by Caitlin Duncan. Caitlin is a fellow author tuber here on YouTube. And I a, wanted to support her, but also it's a really pretty cover. But also I like Christmas stories. So I wanted to pick this one up as well. Next is to read a diverse read. And for that, I picked up Take a Hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. This is the follow up to last year's Get a Life, Chloe Brown, which I really loved. And I'm super excited for this one. It involves a bisexual, one of color, plus size main character, I do believe, if my brain serves me correctly. Definitely interested in this one as well. I really loved the first one. Super excited for this one. And the final prompt for the Tis the Seasonathon is a cozy read. Don't really know if this is going to qualify as cozy. It's kind of hard to know what qualifies as a cozy prior to having read it. I'm just rolling with it. Um, I picked The Christmas Sisters by Sarah Morgan. This book is about three girls who were all adopted going back to their adopted mother um, for Christmas and they all kind of have like something specific going on in their life and their mother also has something going on in her life. It's more of like a family drama but there is romance involved in it from what I understand. I have had this one for a couple of years on my shelves. I think I bought this one maybe 
for it is the season of thon in the past as well and haven't picked it up yet. This is just my life now, people. Want to get to this one as well. Then we go to the Romance Takeover, which, as I said, runs from November 29th to December 11th. It's actually 13 days, I do believe. And basically what they're doing for that is there was a list of a bunch of prompts. I think there might have been 20, maybe. And there is a bingo board because it's nine squares. Basically, you pick the nine prompts that you want to cover. Some of them are actionable prompts like participating in readings friends or following the hosts on YouTube or Instagram. And some are actual book prompts. So I picked, I think all of mine are book prompts except for posting my TBR. And I left one blank because I'm a mood reader. And I don't know what I'm going to fill that space with, except I think I know what I'm going to fill that space with now. Um, when I originally did this TBR, I wasn't sure, but I think I know now. This is my page for the romance takeover. Um, I went ahead and made it Christmassy too, just because the other side is Christmassy. And so it just felt like the right thing to do. Let's get into those prompts and what I picked for those. My first prompt is to read a romance that has been on your TBR for six months or more. And for that, I'm going with One Day in December by Josie Silver. This is a book of the month club pick from last year, probably also for the Tis the Season of Fawn. I know that this book follows a girl who is on a bus and she sees a guy at a bus stop and like kind of has that instantaneous love at first sight. I think this book is about if love at first sight is real. I know that part of the plot is that the guy at some point is in a relationship with her best friend. I don't know that this is the book for me, but I'm going to read it and find out. That's typically a trope that I really hate. So should be interesting. Next is to read a book recommended by a host. I'm cheating a little bit for that and I'm going to count In a Holidays by Christina Lauren as being recommended by a host because Beautifully Bookish Bethany is a host and we are reading that book for the book club this month so just roll on with that one. Uh, my third prompt is to post a TBR. You're it. This is my TBR. The next prompt is to read an audiobook, and for that, I will be reading Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I bought this, I think I pre-ordered this. I'm really not even sure. I bought it forever ago. Haven't picked that up yet. The next prompt is to read a library book. Also kind of cheating on this, because technically I'm going to be borrowing the audiobook from the library, but I also own a physical copy, and that is Beach Read by Emily Henry. I've been wanting to get to this one all year, so... My next prompt is going to be to read a recent release, and I don't have that book quite yet. I have ordered it. It should be in next week, and I'm going to be reading Mind the Gap, Dash and Lily by Rachel Cohn and David Levithan. I have read the previous two books of that series and really enjoyed those, so hopefully I enjoy the third book as well. I ordered that from my local indie, and I'm just waiting for that to come in. I have to look up the next one because I don't remember who it's by. The next prompt that I picked was a diverse book and for that I will be reading Boyfriend Material by Alexis Hall. I don't know a whole lot about that other than it involves a fake dating trope which I'm always here for especially at Christmas time so here for that. I also have that on audiobook so no physical copy. My eighth prompt is a bad boy romance and for that I picked up It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I'm not 100% sure what this one is about. I know that it has a love triangle because don't they all? And I don't know that it's necessarily a bad boy romance, but he's described as assertive, stubborn, maybe even a little bit arrogant, has a complete aversion to relationships. I'm gonna go with this as a bad boy romance. I don't really know for sure, but to the best of my guessing abilities, some people hate her, some people love her. I, I think she's a really good human. I haven't read enough of her books to have a full judgment of her writing stance but I did win this book so she sent me a signed copy of it um from I think Facebook maybe a couple of years ago so I have this and uh I'm gonna read it and then the last prompt as I said I left blank however since I made this TBR I have ordered spoiler alert 
by, I believe, Olivia Dade. I ordered the audiobook of that, and that is an older woman romance. So that may be what's filling that spot. I may fill it with something else. I may fill it based off of something that I have already. Um, any of these things may come on or off of the TBR at any moment willy-nilly uh, as I see fit. I, as I said, I'm really just... I picked a book for every prompt, but most of the books that I picked will work for more than one prompt and will also work for more than one readathon. That's just kind of what you got to do when you're doing two readathons that run at the same time. Again, if you have any questions about these readathons, I will be linking the host information in the description box below. That is all I have for today. Let me know if you will be participating in these readathons because I would love to know what your TBR is. If you're participating, if we're reading any of the same books, because we could like do a buddy read. Hello. Great times. I will be uploading very soon, giving you guys some more information of some things that we have going on, some big things going on in December and moving forward. If you don't want to miss anything that I have going on in the future, speaking of, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.